So how did Spark Cycle Works create the first electric moped? Woo! <laughs> wow! That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with EV tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. In this video, we'll be visiting Spark Cycle Works, a small company based in Connecticut that have quickly gained the respect of the e-bike community with the Bandit, the first street legal electric moped in the United States. We'll talk about their rapid growth, what almost killed the company, and get a first look at their latest creation called Project Javelin. Want to know how the Bandit was made? Stick around to find out. here in Brantford, Connecticut, a shoreline town located about six miles from downtown New Haven. Today we'll be talking with the Spark Cycle Works team, a talented group of makers, riders, designers, and content creators. And while they're mainly known for the banded electric moped, they also continue to innovate with the growing product line and DIY bike builds. So let's get to it. The big problem that still remains is a lack of bike lanes. And in Connecticut, we have a lot of high-speed roads. So most of our side roads are 40 miles an hour. The idea was, let's see if we can make something in that classic moped category. A lot of people are saying, you know, what is an electric moped? Isn't that an e-bike? Isn't that like a motorbike? Like, what is it? Purely from a safety point of view, of being able to get in that road and keep up. It definitely has a strong manufacturing history. We're a middle point between New York City and Boston. So business-wise, it's wonderful because we can supply both of those customer bases, but also we can get people to work here from pretty close by as well. The content, like, it's gotta be funny, it's gotta be engaging, also informative, also, you know, you check all these boxes off. We care about this, we think you care about it. If you don't, that's cool, but that's kind of where the media comes in. It's like, I can show you the process. When I see someone on a bike and they hit that throttle for the first time, especially someone who's never been on an e-bike, that's the best. Some people go home, they pick up a book and they read and they're content. I go home and I go in a garage, turn on some music and I work on a bike. It's a way to like just ease yourself but also, you know, frustrate yourself, you know. From the team at Spark Cycle Works this is another custom build. Let's name it right now. Silver Bullet. Keep my hands inside the vehicle at all times. Are we going to the grocery store? Where are we going? Yeah, we're this is uh, really comfortable. I mean, I could see myself riding this uh, in a city. This is a great alternative to a rickshaw. I have like surprisingly a lot of leg room. It's so comfortable. I feel like I could just fall asleep in this thing. Like that's how comfortable it is. This thing has some power to it, huh? <laughs> It is a legal to ride electric moped. It does have a VIN. It's, it's like a very rare thing in the industry right now, which is surprising because the process is not hard. It has headlights, turn signals, brake lights, can do 1500 watts, 30, 35 miles an hour. It has an emphasis on customization. The latest batch has the most significant update we've ever done to it. The controller, the motor, and the battery, everything is running on 52 volt. So when you're running higher voltage systems, you're pushing less amps for the same amount of watts, and that keeps things cooler. There have been some other subtle improvements. One of them has been a new fork. We are doing torque arms on every bike. We've also improved the location of the kickstand. The new turn signal uses a really nice plug. You just unplug it, it's waterproof, plug in the next one. In the past generation, only the headlight ran on 12 volt. So we now have it so the entire lighting array is running on 12 volt. We are in Brantford, we're riding the shoreline. This is the latest Bandit with the 52 volt battery. Definitely feel that 52 volt punch. Slightly higher top speed, that kind of thing. I love it. I'm definitely used to, you know, 60 volt, 72 volt. So 52 really feels good for this style of riding. Uh, we are mainly on like 25 mile per hour, 30 mile per hour roads. So the bike is super maneuverable. Uh, I have no problems just like uh, whipping it around. You know, I could stop on a dime like this. Um, standing up is, is really comfortable. I like to stand up sometimes just when I'm, you know, hitting some bumps and things like that. Uh, there is suspension on this bike, which, uh, which feels pretty good. This is advertised as an electric moped. And I think, 
I think it really is probably the, the closest to, you know, a street legal electric moped that I've ridden. Not only the from the, the way it's designed, but also the way it performs. Now we're going up a slight incline and it's handling the hills perfectly. Not an issue, the, the motor, the battery, this will get you up pretty much any hill. Going this speed, you know, like max throttle at 35 miles per hour, it feels, it feels like the perfect sweet spot. The handling is really, really nice. Because the frame is so lightweight, um, it's really easy to whip it around, you know, and kind of do, kind of lean in. I did notice that the, uh, you know, the pedal arm uh, kind of hit the ground a little bit because I do like to lean pretty, pretty hard but I think that could be solved with just like a, a shorter pedal arm. Okay, let's try pedal assist. So we are on pedal assist five and uh, woo, woo, wow, tons of power right off the line, 30, 40 miles per hour. Wow, I am going down a hill, but yeah, you definitely get that, that power using level five. Uh, pedal assist. So we are on a 1500 watt uh, hub motor, rear hub motor, and uh, yeah, perfect for this bike. I mean, I lifted it up and it didn't feel like too rear heavy. They have a bigger uh, sprocket, bigger um, chain sprocket. So you can actually pedal this thing at a higher speed than like uh, a typical e-bike. So, you know, that's, um, that's useful. So between the shifter and the size of the sprocket, you can definitely dial in how you like to ride. So overall, I think the Spark Cycle Works Bandit is really a solid electric moped, like street legal, legit electric moped. Javelin is our next bike that we are working on. We are really closing in on finishing the next prototype. And once that next prototype is done, we will then go into a, a beta launching phase. The bike so far has been a test of one concept, and that is, is it possible to build an entire bike out of one piece of laser cut steel? The frame will be 100% made here. The only components on the Javelin that will not be made here are the battery, the motor, and the controller. We are likely using 26 inch wheels. So they're larger wheels and that makes the bike way more efficient. It's probably gonna do a 72 volt system. A lot of the computer system is actually running on something called Arduino. Arduino is completely open source. So people will be able to get in there and tweak it and do things that they want. The big emphasis is fun on the Javelin. I'm gonna do the first ride with the Project Javelin prototype. Oh, I love that. Ah, oh, turn that off. That. Okay, that's my kill switch. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, it's actually super comfortable. I didn't even like throttle it yet, and I feel like this thing will go because of how light it is. So let's, uh, let's try it out. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay, all right. That is super smooth. I like this, I like this. It's so like nimble. The 26 inches, you could, I, I could see why you did that for sure. I definitely like the way I'm positioned. It's not like anything I've really ridden before, but it's really perfect for this setup. So I'm gonna take it out on the main road just to get a little bit higher speed. I've seen the future and the future is in the Javelin. The center of gravity felt good, you know, like that's always a thing for me. The way the battery is tilting down, the center of gravity is coming towards the crank area. You cover so much more ground with the 26 inch wheel. I was already at the end of like the road essentially. <laughs> so I could see that being super efficient when you're doing longer range rides, things like that. I'm really excited to see how you guys uh, progress with this. It's in its own class, to be honest because I've ridden every bike and this is, this is unlike anything I've ever felt before. So 
we were to the point where we were about to be profitable. We went to the warehouse one day and we did a count and we had found that we were missing 75 bikes. That incident basically reset the entire clock for Spark in the middle of last year. And it is only up until very recently that we are now starting to break even again. We didn't want to come out and you know make a video and say, Spark just got robbed. Uh, if anybody wants to make a donation, here's my GoFundMe. We also didn't want people to worry that I just bought a bike from these guys and are they gonna go out of business tomorrow? So I think it was really up to us and a lot of people in our community to say, no, we're gonna freaking double down and we're gonna make this happen. develop this company so that it is not an inherently male-driven company. They're still calling step-through frames women's frames. You know, we still have that problem. In the e-bikes right now, we sell more step-through frames to guys than we do to women because it's easier to get their knee over. Ask all the different groups of people what they want. You know, what do they want to see in the bikes? If we're going to put up photos of the bikes, Let's show, let's like celebrate that. Like we have an amazing community of people. We noticed we had a lot of like loyalty with riders and people were racking up thousands of miles and we were like, that's so cool. And so Matt created a, up the Amphead Society. If you go a hundred miles on your bandit, we send you a jacket. If you got to like 500 miles, we sent you a badge and like a thousand. So there's all these like levels. But I think the bigger thing for us is to remain very specialized. I think for us, we have to watch what the big guys are doing and keep on specializing and keep on making really interesting, unique things. So that's our first look at Spark Cycle Works and how they've quickly grown and adapted in a rapidly changing industry. Big shout out to Matt, Teo, and the entire team. And we look forward to checking out the next generation of the Bandit, as well as the innovative Project Javelin. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.